Who says pimping ain't easy? Today we're going to show you how you can easily pimp Adobe Lightroom with your own logo, fonts, and colors. That's what's up. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pimping Pixels, the only design show that'll teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques that you need to become a pro. I'm your host Gregory Felian, and on this episode what we're going to do is show you how you can customize the look and feel of Adobe Lightroom by adding your own logo, fonts, and colors to it. Now one of the main benefits of doing this is that if you actually use Lightroom to show off your work to your clients directly, it just looks so much better having your brand and your name right there inside of Lightroom. And it actually kind of looks like your brand, like your company built this program that you're showing off all your images in. So it's actually pretty awesome. And another benefit of it is that you just feel more at home inside of Lightroom. You know, if you're just starting off using Lightroom, you're a little uncomfortable with it. Seeing your logo on there and your name and having it look and feel the way you're comfortable with just helps you feel a lot more at home inside of Lightroom and makes you more comfortable. So why don't we take a look at how easy it is to add your own logo to Lightroom. Yay! So first let's take a look at exactly what we're gonna be changing inside of Lightroom. So this top bar here where you see the Lightroom logo and even the module buttons on the side for library, develop, etc. All of that stuff is what we'll be customizing today. So we start off by clicking on Lightroom in the very top menu and then choosing Identity Plate Setup. The Identity Plate Editor window will pop up and in here you'll be able to make all the changes you want. To get started, click on the box next to Enable Identity Plate. Then make sure Use a Styled Text Identity Plate is selected and just start typing in the text field below. Now as you type, you'll see exactly how it will look inside of Lightroom and you could format your text to however you want. So right now, we have it called My Photo Studio. You could leave it like that. We did change it. You know, it doesn't have the Lightroom logo anymore. It says My Photo Studio, but that's kind of stupid having it say that. We want it to actually say our company name. So why don't we make it look much more better, create a cool company name, and see where we go. Now I'm just going to select my text and change the name of My Photo Studio to Super Dope Photos. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. And to make it look even better, I'm gonna change the font to something that will match our awesome studio name. Now it's a bit small, so I'm just gonna adjust the font size of it a bit. And I also wanna change the color because right now white is looking a bit boring and it's not really looking super dope. So that little box to the right of your font size is actually a color picker. All you have to do is just click on that and then you can select a new color for your name. So now that we have our studio name set, we want to make our module buttons, you know, those library, develop, map, all of those buttons match up to our logo. So let's do that. Now on the right side of the window, you can do just that. So let's use our same font and adjust the size a bit and change the color to match. Now when you change the color here, you can actually set the color for both the active module as well as the inactive modules. So normally what you want to do is make your selected module brighter and the inactive ones a darker color. And you do this just so that your current module stands out more and it makes it easier to know what you're working on. Another awesome thing is that you could save your custom identity plate. And this comes in handy if you're working under different names or if you just want to have different styles that you can easily switch between. Click where it says custom and then choose save as. Name your new identity plate and then hit save. Now if you go back and click on custom, you'll see that your saved identity plates are all there and you could easily just switch between them. Now if we take a look at my other identity plate that I set up for my brand new show, Photography, you'll see that this is an actual logo and not just simple text that we typed in. You could easily use your own custom logo by choosing use a graphical identity plate and then click the locate file button to find your saved logo image. Now you could save your logo as just about any type of file that you want, but I prefer saving it as a PNG. This way I just keep a transparent background and you're not getting like two different types of black in your logo. You know, as long as you just keep it transparent, have your logo on there, look perfect. Now one thing to keep in mind is that there are no resizing options for your logo when you select it. 
you have to make sure that it's sized properly before you do this. Now to make things easier on you so that you don't have to go through the same pain that I did when trying to figure out these uh, dimensions for you know, the Lightroom logo, I created a simple template that you guys could use. All you have to do is just plop your logo into it, resize it, adjust you know, where it is a little bit, move it around, and then just save it out. You could load it right into Lightroom at the proper size, dimensions. So there you have it. You guys just saw how easy it is to pimp out Adobe Lightroom with your own logo and styles. And if you want to learn a little bit more about photography, or if you're just getting started in photography, you owe it to yourself to check out our brand new show, Photography. In Photography, we show you how you can get awesome photos on the cheap by adding simple pieces of equipment to your gear set that will help you get better photos that you'll be proud to show off to your friends and family. So I got a lot of homework for you guys today. Check out our brand new show, Photography, and if you like it, subscribe to it. If you haven't already, subscribe to this show, Pimping Pixels. Like us on Facebook because we post a lot of cool stuff on Facebook. We got design freebies, we got design tutorials, and it's just awesome on there. Hit us up on Twitter if you just want to talk to us. Say, hey, what's up? How you doing? Use Twitter for that. And most importantly, since I want you guys to actually learn what I taught in this lesson, add your own logo into Lightroom, and most importantly of all, keep on pimping them pixels. Today we're going to show you how you could pimp Adobe Lightroom with your own logo, fonts, and colors. We'll do it as easy as pie. <laughs> your logo right there, you know, it replaces the Adobe Lightroom logo in there, and I'm babbling a bit. And that's not what pimping pixels is about. Pimping pixels is not about babbling. That's why we cut it up and make it short. We don't want 30 minute episodes of me just going on like this. And I should really stop and do another take, but... Okay, we're on seven minutes now and I'm being stupid. <laughs> and it just makes you look so much more like a boss. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pippin Picks. <laughs> oh man, I need to practice this crap. <laughs> show you exactly how easy it is to do this. Bam! Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom, 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 Lightroom. If you haven't already, subscribe to Pimping Pixels. And why wouldn't you subscribe to Pimping Pixels? You're watching this right now. If you made it to the end of the episode, you definitely like the show. Subscribe, see awesome design tips and techniques and tricks, whatever we say at the beginning. Keep on picking them pixels. Ha <laughs>